Kids for Navy with Cancer Society for Navy. And I just want you to have a chair, and you're just going to do some squats today. So uh, let's stretch our legs out and uh, get into that. This is something you can do if you're in recovery and are, um, you know, recovery can be your um, mastectomy or if you're chemo, so you can do this very low key. Um, but we're going to get some a workout in today, and I'm trying to keep the time limits on it, so let me get my clock, because I don't want to overdo it, and I want you guys to be able to enjoy the workout. And, uh, okay, so we're going to do some squats. I want you to have a chair, though, because I want you to have your balance, especially if you're in pain, you need something to your balance when you do this, and we're going to do some concentric squats, and then we'll stretch our legs back out. Okay, so we're going to keep it low and easy, and we're good to go. Okay, so abs tucked in, toes and knees pointing forward, and your booty goes back. And again, you can use that chair. Again, keep your balance. You just need good support. toes, right? Because it's breathing. Abs are tucked in. Keep them in check up. Bring your shoulders down. It's all about the form here. Form, form, form. No matter how far you go down, step back that you're moving. Doing something good for your body, okay? Moving, moving, moving. Getting that blood and oxygen flowing. So while if you're doing chemo, you're putting it all through your system. Drinking lots of water. Helping yourself from dehydrating. Alright, so now we're going to do a chair pose with a chair. So that means bring your feet together, okay? But still, your knees and toes are pointing forward, obviously. And you're going to sit back like you're trying to sit in a chair. Your toes should be able to come up while your waist is still. Um, but again, don't let those knees go past your toes, okay? Hold on to that chair. We're just changing the squat up just enough to feel a little different in there, right? And end this session with a couple of leg lifts. And I'll bring up a chair for that. So I do some lateral lifting when I'm working on sides. So I always wanted to have a baby that lifted so I just um, when I was recovering from knee surgery because <laughs> you guys can tell that I was doing some good as far as like building up neck strength. So well, we're standing if you want a really low energy chair. This is a good, good workout. I need five minutes or ten reps, okay? And we're just working things with our body. Okay, and then we're gonna do two more. Ready? Two. Our legs out, okay? To the side, ever so much. Keep those neck, hips, it works, okay? So bite your skin down, you want to set your neck, keep it long and lean, and our legs out. Just slow and steady wherever you're at. side. So let's get that going. Ready? Now keep our whole body tight. Now this side might be a little bit tight. And our range of motion is just going to come up to your hips. our weight for a little bit, so let's get the play. We're just lifting our leg up, no touch, okay? High and lean, up. Again, slow. 
the start of study. Now, if you were carrying one of the correct ones, like I did, for it, um, my ovaries out, this would be tender. But within a week, you should be able to do this standing exercise and the squats to either side. But just depending on your recovery and how good it's been going, how well the care has been. This is actually working our abs and our legs. So I would say that we start. We're almost done with our five minutes. Right? And then we stretch everything out. Okay? You can call it a day and say it took us five minutes of fitness. Just for you. To get you through this stupid, stupid fight that we have to do, right? This just sucks to death. But you don't have to let it win and you don't have to let it steal your mobility and you don't have to let it steal your energy. Don't let it do it. Okay? Working out, I promise you, working out, if you make it slow and steady like this, it's going to make a huge difference in what your outlook is. Okay, so I'm standing here, we wanted to stretch those feet back out. So if you're doing this stretch, your knees need to be up like this and your arms together like this. Just like I'm using chairs. And come over to the other side. Come to this side. Knees together, okay? Okay, there you go, you guys. You just did a great workout that's going to help you build lower body strength um, and give you energy and encouragement to get through your particular fight. Okay? Um, so if you remember, right, that you are talking to your doctor, making sure it's okay to work out. You are listening to your body, um, do more or less reps if you can. Okay? You know that. Um, pay attention to the form, too, because that's going to help keep injuries in your body. Drinking lots and lots and lots of water. So good for you. And most important thing you need to remember is that you are stronger. Thanks for joining me today. And I'll see you soon with some more um, exercises to help get you through this fight. All right. Love you guys.